Wedding Day! In 2018, we embarked on a crazy journey to restore and rebuild a 1979 Bedford CF we'd found rotting away in a barn on the Cornish Moors. We worked tirelessly through all seasons, building a habitation unit from scratch onto this classic chassis cab with no previous engineering experience and filling it with beautiful, bespoke designs. Fast forward to 2021, and we'd completed the project and published our last build video to YouTube, where we detailed the entire process. Then, as we were readying ourselves to hire it out, we were offered the chance of a lifetime, getting paid to travel Europe and co-present a documentary on hot springs. The programme proved successful, and in 2022 we set out to film Series 2, ending production in Turkey, then embarking on our greatest journey yet. We continued to travel further through Turkey's eastern provinces and on to Georgia and Armenia, documenting our adventures through our YouTube channel. We drove as far as we possibly could in our 21-year-old LDB convoy, but with all further land borders closed, we returned home. Which brings us back to now, the summer of 2023, five whole years after we began our ridiculous dream to restore our 1979 Bedford CF. The day had finally come where we could get it off the driveway, start hiring it out to visitors, and bring ourselves one step closer to our dream of being able to travel full time. So after five long years of blood, sweat, literal tears, and tormenting us on the driveway every single day, we are proud to say that we are finally on this beautiful campsite with views across the incredible North Atlantic. And we're ready to take people. It is now available for bookings. But we realize we've never actually given you a proper van tour of this beautiful creation of ours. So I'm gonna hand over to Lucy and she's gonna show you inside. Are you ready? How's my hair? So the cab is the only original part of our 1979 Bedford van because when we bought it, it was just a chassis and a cab. The entire box you see is what we spent the whole three and a half years of this project creating. But I just love the cab because we've left it completely original. It's got all of the original features in it, like the big old steering wheel with the Bedford logo, the original seats and the engine, which is in the middle of the cab with the engine cover. So I really love the idea of perhaps using this as a kind of coffee lounge for the guests where you could sit and just admire the view. I know that's what I'd be doing if I was in here. So let's show you inside. Welcome inside the van. Let's show you the kitchen first. I think this is my favourite bit. 
So we constructed this entire kitchen from scratch and certainly one of my favourite features is these beautiful English elm worktops that we got made specifically for this van. They are gorgeous. So on this side we've got a gas hob set into the worktop here and just underneath is a gas oven and a 12 volt fridge. And we've got all the pots and pans that you need for cooking in here. I really love these because these are a beautiful 1960s vintage enamel pans that I bought because I just thought they'd go with the theme of the van and I love them. Also got this lovely little hand painted teapot for making cups of tea again, one of my little favorite features. And on this side, we've got the beautiful Moroccan enamel sink. We've got hot and cold running water, thanks to the gas boiler in here. Up on the shelf here, I've got some lovely local coffees and teas. And then we store all of the plates and cups and cutlery in this beautiful vintage picnic camper down here. So this really is one of the central features of the van and the bit that makes everybody go wow, and that is the shower. We've got this gorgeous brass rainfall shower in here, with these lovely slate floor tiles and green rustic marble tiles as a backdrop. It's absolutely gorgeous and I could literally spend hours in here. <laughs> us on to the seating area. Now I was the one that stipulated that I wanted these seat cushions upholstered in this lovely green corduroy fabric simply because it reminds me of being in an old English pub. It's kind of a bit of a nostalgia thing but they do perfectly complement our lovely burr elm table in the middle here. Now we bought this piece of wood from a local timber yard and sanded it and oiled it ourselves to create this stunning centerpiece in the lounge. Now, if you're a little vertically challenged like me, you might struggle getting in and out of the over cab bed area, which is why we've designed the seating area to double as a double bed. So all you do is take a couple of wooden planks and lay them across the bench seats here, and then pull the cushions across to create a very comfy mattress. So one of the really quirky little things that I love in the van is our vintage replica radio, which you can see here. And the thing that I love most about it is how the dials kind of crackle as you turn it. And it really ties into this whole idea that we had about imagining what the camper van would have been like had it been built in the 1970s when the original van was made. So the whole idea behind this seating area was that it would be centered around this window here, which looks through to the cab. And I really like the idea of people sitting here, having their tea or coffee in the morning and just looking out at that lovely view. And I think it's just really beautiful contrast between the old original van that you can see in the cab and the brand new van that we built in here. And I love the way those two kind of marry together. that brings me to the over cab bed area and trust me when I say it is really cozy up here got this incredible roof dome it's not just a porthole you can actually poke your head up into the dome and look out which is brilliant lets in loads of light during the day and you can watch the stars at night what could be better and another one of my favorite little quirky features is the bed divider up here these are all pieces of Cornish driftwood that we found on various beaches and stained and made this beautiful natural wany edge bed divider which I think just finishes off the whole van nicely. So we really hope you've enjoyed having a look around the van today and we are open and ready to welcome guests to Marg Carven. If you're wondering what Marg Carven means, it's actually Cornish and literally translates to horse wagon, which we thought was a perfect little homage to our van. So it's available to book now on all the normal booking platforms. We'll be leaving the link in the description below, or you can always send us a message on either Instagram or Facebook for a special rate. And we look forward to welcoming our first guests. So 
we really enjoy no <laughs> so. do you need a minute no and it is ready and open to guests should i what give you a minute say? it's just frustrating because i really need the toilet and we look forward to welcoming our first guests mm -hmm. For behind the scenes videos and to see the reality of making a TV program and travelogue series, join us over on Patreon.